Hello to all you wonderful people of the world. Welcome to a most marvelous tutorial about how I have made some of my most splendidly disgusting bases. If you too want to learn how to make these absolutely naughty baselines then keep watching. And soon you will become a true master in the knowledge of bases that make you want to eat your fridge at a Nintendo Wii. Just as a side note before we start with the naughtiness. I will be putting a load of presets and samples of my bases into a sample pack. So check them out in the description along with a load of other UK baseline sample packs. Anyway, enough of my BTEC self promo. Let's start with the bases that make Ketty Keith eat pigeons for breakfast. The first bases that we have are these absolute monsters that I created for my remix of the song I would like by Zara Larson, which sounds like this. Make sure you check out the remix on my channel for your ultimate dose of songs that make you want to play Mario Kart Wii without a safety strap on. The first bass in this drop is actually a sample from the Burt Cope sample pack which I highly recommend. It is filled with absolute sauce and is well worth the money. The second bass in this filthy drop was created using serum. I took two oscillators and pitched them three octaves apart. I used the Monster 8 and Monster 2 wavetables. I also used FM on oscillator A to give a nice fat sound. I had the LFO affecting the cutoff frequency on the filter section in order to give a naughty wobble. The effects section of this bass uses distortion, the reverb filter, and also a bit of gain and EQ. I also used the Camel Crusher effect in the mixer, and added some reverb and stereo widina. If you do all of these things then you end up with a bass sound like this. The next bass we will have a look at is from my track Sabotage. This track is out on all streaming platforms, so make sure you go and check it out. Here's how it sounds in the track. Sheer brute force. This bass is made with two waveforms that are both very similar to a sine wave. The first waveform is the Monster 2 waveform, which I have pitched down two octaves to get a nice beefy bass sound. Much like the last bass, I have the FM turned on on oscillator A and turned up to about 50%. Oscillator B uses the analog BD sine waveform, and is pitched up two octaves, once again. The filter section has a cutoff that is controlled by the LFO to give that signature pumping sound. The FX section features some stereo widina, some distortion, the reverb filter, some gain, some EQ, and some reverb. The mixer track for this bass features more distortion, more EQ, compression, and a load of other effects that are used for things like the build up of the track. This is basically just a very complex bass sound which shows that the effects that you use can make all the difference. After all that, you should get a bass that sounds something like this. The final bass sound I will be showing you how to make is from my track Everything I Need which is out on all major streaming services. So make sure to go and check it out if you like it. Here is the bass sound in action. The be a slide, rude boy. This bass sound was created using two Monster 8 waveforms. The first oscillator is pitched down two octaves and has the FM turned up to about 30%. The second waveform is pitched up three octaves. The LFO is used to control the level on the noise oscillator, the level on oscillator A, the FM level on oscillator A, and the drive level on the filter section. On the effects section, we have a reverb filter, some multiband compression, some distortion, and some EQ which is being controlled by the LFO. On the mixer channel, we have more distortion, some chorus, some compression, some reverb, and some EQ. One important thing to note about this bass is that it gets a lot of its sound from having many notes stacked up in both fifths and octaves. In the end, your bass sound should sound like this. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. 
Don't forget to check out the packs linked in the description for samples and presets that can help take your tracks to the next level. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want a video on something in particular then leave a comment saying so. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.